found something on the web about why do I make bad life choices. Check it out. That didn't, that didn't help. Hi guys, I'm working on the MR2 today, Mr. Dose. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me working on the MR2. A couple days ago, I did quite a bit of work on this car, like 12 hours worth in a day. Just worked on it all day long. I'm gonna put in a time lapse real quick and show you what progress was done. But first, let's let's look at the state of the MR2. So you guys can see the body harness is back here. Um, this was from, I don't know, a month or two ago when I pulled this out of the car to do work on it. This is 90% done. I just needed some more loom to do down here and to wrap these wires up. Other than that, this harness is ready to drop back into the car. So this happened. I, I went a little crazy. One day came out here and decided, hey, I'm gonna work on the car. And no one was here, I was by myself. I figured, might as well work on the MR2 today. So came out here and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fix this broken wire on the dash. You should know as much about the repair and maintenance of your new MR2 as the people who built it. are getting in their car across the street and one of them kept saying tadpole in like a really demonic voice they just kept going tadpole tadpole okay so now that you guys are caught up on what i had to do to get this dash out i'm gonna fix this broken wire this is the reason why i tore the entire dash apart because this wire goes to the ignition to start the car and it's broken somewhere in this harness. So I took everything out to gain access to this harness, to inspect it, to repair or replace this wire and then put it all back together. I'm also gonna be replacing all the bulbs in the entire dash, like the HVAC assembly, the door switches, the gauge cluster, everything. All the bulbs are getting replaced with white LEDs. So it's a more clean, modern look in the interior. I think what's in here right now is just regular incandescent bulbs with little green, like, condoms over their doodads or something. So I'm replacing those with white LEDs. It'll look a lot crisper and cleaner on the interior. And then also, all right, where are you? And then we're replacing this guy right here. No more tape player, logic control deck. Instead, I'm gonna be going with a Android double din unit, kind of like what I have in my Forester and what Sarah has in her Focus ST. I'm gonna upgrade the interior with some modern electronics and I'm gonna put an Android based unit in here. So I'll have navigation, and just like all kinds of gadgets, gadgetry. <laughs> Steering column out of the way. This is how it was when we got the car. This wire was cut and spliced with this jumper because this is the, this is the rest of it. This is where it was cut. So here's the rest of the wire that connects to here. This goes through this harness right here and it comes out over here, which plugs up near the ignition. This is for the ignition switch to start the car. Okay, so the problem is I have no continuity. Absolutely nothing. So I highly doubt there's anything wrong with the rest of this harness. Why do I talk like Russian? I took like Russian prostitute. I'm sorry to my Russian viewers for completely butchering your guys' accent. This tape sounds like paper. <laughs> it's electrical tape. I really like doing this left-handed. I'm not very ambidextrous. There's a little access door that I opened up here in this panel. So I'm hoping that I can get this wire through here, through this access door. There's so many red wires with little silver dots that, I mean, it's impossible to guess which one of these it is. I'll replace all this old electrical tape anyway. So I know a lot of you guys have asked me if I have a PO box to send me stuff and I do not have one. However, tomorrow, 
I'm going to go get one. This is kind of aggravating. So that wire that was cut under the dash, let me explain the story behind this. The dash harness that is in this MR2 is a non-turbo MR2 harness. The engine harness and the body harness, not the dash harness, separate from the dash rear and the engine harness are out of a turbo MR2. I took the dash harness apart because of the fact that the body harness had so many damaged and corroded wires in it and I knew that one of the wires under the dash had been cut to make the car start. That was the only story I knew on this when we got the car. I had no idea why they just said this wire was cut. It made the car start by cutting it because the wire is broken somewhere in the dash harness. So I was like, okay. And then when we were working on the engine and finding all the issues on the body harness and the engine harness, I was like, you know what? With all these issues, I need to take these harnesses out and inspect them and repair the damaged wires. So that led me to believe, seeing this damaged wire in the dash harness, that potentially the dash harness was in the same condition as the other two harnesses. Now that I have this pulled apart and I traced that red wire that was cut and jumped to make the car start, I have followed it and it goes to a completely different plug. That's why it had no continuity and why they thought that wire was broken somewhere in the dash. It's not broken somewhere in the dash, totally different wire. They are both red wires with little silver markings on them, but there's tons of wires like that all throughout this dash harness. So basically I just did this for nothing. I pulled the entire dash apart for nothing other than a piece of mine that now is able to inspect the wires, being that the rest of the wires in this car were crap. At least I was able to inspect them. These wires are fine in this dash harness. There's no issues. It's clearly a different harness. It's the original harness for this car, which this car is a 76,000 mile car. So it would make no sense that there'd be issues up here. Now the other two harnesses, they were swapped in from who knows how many miles were on that car or what condition it was in. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this harness back together. I'm gonna to repair those two cut wires. I know someone's gonna be like, why did you do that for this? I know, but shit happens, okay? It's a learning experience. Need my wallet. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi YouTube. I'm doing calculus too. You're doing cat culus. Ah, I'm so funny. <laughs> Oakley dild Oakley. Okay, I'm gonna run to the hardware store real quick and get some electrical tape and a few other items. Try to get some wire loom so I can wrap this harness correctly and put it back together. I'm still debating whether I'm gonna use solder or solder. <laughs> Why is this hard to say solder? Solder. Solderless connectors or solder? So solder. Usually I solder everything. So solder. <laughs> Why is this so hard to say right now? Alright, so putting everything back together, I'm trying to wrap the electrical tape exactly how it was in the factory. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know, but I just want to put it back the way it was. So I have this taken care of. Now I found this, I believe it's the brake pedal switch. This was disconnected. Anyway, I'm gonna get this repaired and put back together. Rapido, trapido. I hate when I get things stuck in my head that I don't know what they go to. The multi bass. Ouch! Everything is put back together electrically. So now those two wire, the wire that was cut that you guys saw, I just put some quick disconnect spade connectors on there. I'm not a fan of using these, but they're just such quick disconnects. This is just temporary so I can get the engine back in the car, make sure it starts fine, and if not, figure out why it's not starting. I don't think it has anything to do with that wire that was just cut. I know if you jump, those two wires that were cut, the car will start, but that doesn't seem right to me. So I'm gonna leave quick disconnects on there so that way I can troubleshoot. And then if it's fine, I will remove those and make it a permanent bond between the two halves of the wire. But I'm gonna put the dash back in now. All this for nothing. Oops. <sighs> for you, my friend. For you. Something on the web about why do I make bad life choices? Check it out. Don't you just love the guessing game of trying to remember where everything goes back together when you're putting a car back together? Will you come hang out with me? I don't have an answer for that. Oh, sad. That is where you went. 
this is your home. This is your home, go to your home. I know I'm gonna get some comments for my choice of camera angles, but legit, you guys, I have nowhere else to put my camera right now. It's on top of the HVAC ducts to the defrost on the top of the dash. And I just, I have nowhere to stick them. I can't put the camera behind me because there's nowhere to support the camera without it falling because there's, there's literally nothing behind me. So, you know what? You know what I say to that? I have never seen anyone frown at a boob before. Girl or a guy. If a girl has nice boobs and she shows them, then I say congrats. Nice boobs. Wow, this is so awkward. Almost in. I wish I had more three H drive extensions. Staring calm, nuts. Ooh. These are some big nuts. I'm so glad I put hardware back in the hole as soon as I take it out. That way I know exactly where it went after. It makes life so much easier. Everything on this car has been 10, 12, and 14. Go figure. I love working on Toyotas. Everything goes back together as it should. One day, one day, I will have enough money to be able to build amazing project cars for this YouTube channel. That is my goal. I don't want a big fancy house, although I have a nice house, but houses are cheap in Arizona, so it doesn't take very much to have a nice house here. All I legitimately want, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, is I wanna build awesome project cars on this channel for you guys. Like crazy, weird, different project cars. Things that you've always wanted to see and no one has ever done on a channel before. That's what I wanna do. I don't have the money to do it right now, but I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna give up until I can afford to build awesome projects. Holy crap, this sucks. I just smacked myself in the face really hard. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> There's not gonna be a lot of progress in this video. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying my hardest. At least I think I got these wiring issues sorted out. All right, tilt wheel, do you work? Whoosh. Tilt wheel works. Holy crap, does it work. Now to put on the steering wheel. So I wanna show you guys this. See how this steering wheel has this where it says turns five, caution, it has a little red arrow. Basically when I took the steering wheel off this car, I had the wheels positioned exactly straight with this lined up right in the center. My steering wheel was also positioned dead center. So when I go to put this back on, as long as these two red arrows are lined up, everything will be good to go. Now, I've been taking this off and putting it back on as a whole assembly, so this has not spun, but that is what this is telling you basically. If you put it on all wonky, then your steering is not gonna be correct. But I have it set dead straight, nothing has been turned, so I'm gonna put it back together accordingly. Done. That's so exciting. Now you guys notice I don't have the HVAC radio or gauge cluster in. My LED lights I ordered to replace all the incandescent bulbs in the gauges didn't come today. They were Amazon Prime. They were supposed to be here Thursday when I was shooting this video and they're not here. So I'm gonna have to do a separate video when I get the Android unit and I do all the LEDs in the gauges and HVAC area. Um, it won't be in this video because Amazon failed me today. But everything is back together in the interior, aside for the stereo stuff. I think I'm gonna get a new shift boot and shift knob for it too, because these ones are really old and crappy looking. And then I have a harness that you can see on the hunk, the hood trunk, hunk. The wiring harness that's on the hunk behind me, that I'm going to install 
into the car and then everything was ready for the engine to get dropped back in. I know I didn't really need to take the dash out to do this for this broken wire, but I, had I not taken this dash out, I probably wouldn't have known that that wire went somewhere else. So it's a peace of mind. Yeah, it was excessive, but I just want to make sure everything is being done correctly in this. So but anyway, the next video you see on the MR2, I'm going to be doing lots of um, paint work. I'm going to be wet sanding and buffing on this car, more detailing type stuff. And I'm going to learn how to paint because I got some panels that need to be painted on this car. The hood and like mirrors and door handles and stuff. So that's what's coming up on the MR2. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another. Bye. I put them on the correct way. They're not on backwards. In case you were wondering.